now I'm trying to teach you how can we make the pencil holder so it will look something like this and it will not put your thing out and will not fall out so how can I do a pencil holder like this so as per normal we will follow the steps as according to this step one go to create and go to cylinder go to the top view left click to select the planes that you want to place which is a z axis left click once let go left click again once you see the circle so at the side of it you are protruding out a box or cylinder box then we can start to give a diameter which means is this face and the height yesterday we had calculate 102 so once we click ok we should have something like this okay so once we have done this uh, I would like you to go over here to insert the images at the outside so we can go to insert insert SVG insert from my computer and then I'll find yesterday the image so you can place it either at the right side or the front doesn't matter because it's a cylinder so I just place it there and I move to the location I want but as you can see my image is reversed so I can rotate in this way and I can continue to move it the square part is free movement the arrow part is for you to move in a specific axis and this one the side arrow is the scale so it can make bigger smaller the image doesn't matter okay so up to you so once you are done you can click ok but I want to show you you can even use a flip functions if you want so whether you are using the tools over here or you're using the sidebar as a tool so it's really up to you so once you are ok you click the ok button but once you click ok you can't amend the scratches anymore so if you still want to amend the scratches of the body first window select the whole images then you click on this unfix fix and unfix this fix and unfix is to fix and unfix a drawing how can we judge we can see this outside the edges green color is fixed that means you can't move blue color is unfixed so once you are finished using the tools you press the escape button to exit the functions so if you wanted to multiple select the image that you have done the SVG you can hold the shift button on your keyboard and left click and selecting the area that you want to put you or imprint onto your drawing okay so this one is really up to you which one you want to go for for me I want the, my whole panda I will just select in this way so I will turn on the body go to the solid tab go to the create button and I look for emboss emboss function is for the drawing to put you out or imprint in so emboss is put you out the boss is to cut in now faces I need to select the faces where I want it to be so uh, select face and select the outer of the cylinder area emboss only work in regular shape if free print shape it will not work okay regular shape like cylinder like uh, boxes like uh, star shape and etc polygon yeah you will work so it seems nothing happened but we can rotate to the back and we will be able to see our panda there so emboss is to put you out the boss is to cut in so I feel that 1mm should be more than enough and 
I always prefer if we are using FDM to print, the boss is still the best. So it'll be nice. Okay, this drawing we'll use it later on and I shall hide it first because I don't need to affect anything. I don't want to confuse myself. So right now I have done on the image in print and I shall do the fillet at the bottom. Left click once. I wanted to have a radius of 20 degrees. So the gamut I think it's more than enough. You need to have a flat surface, okay? Don't too minimum because your 3D printer may feel print in the end. So once we are done, we go to the shell so that we can show on the top surface. 5mm, 6mm, okay? We put 6, I think it would be better because our letters, the space will be nicer. But again, up to you. But try not to make it too thick because end up you will have too thick surface. Then once you are done, we're going to add a text on top. We are left click to select the top surface. Then we go to create scratch. We go to create drop down menu. We look for text. The first one, the text is for box to draw the text inside within the box. But this one is text on path. It's the one we will use because we're going to place a, a text on this circle area. So I will choose this, the inner one. Then I will use Fusion 360. So fit to path. So it will fit everything into it. Okay, so you can see now my text in between here, my text is 5mm. So there are 1 mm spacing. Okay, so of course we can flip over if we want to. So up to us. You want to upside down also can. So it's up to you. Although inside have a lot of font, but not all the font can be used, okay? So which I feel that uh, error is the most simple one. Give it a try. Okay, some people may ask me, hey, Miss Eve, if this cut in, it will cut in inside as well. So they will have a look like this. So it will cut through like this one. So it will not look nice. Can you see? So we don't cut first. Before we cut, we can use this modified offset face we select the internal 1mm so what it does it create a 1mm thickness at this area so when we use the extrude to extrude the text 1mm do you see it doesn't cut through and create the opening so this is how we can create Oh, I forgot my image. Yep. Do you see? So this is a way of creating the pencil holder. Have time, take a look. Because there's already too many things ongoing. So, yep. This is the correct way. Create a cylinder. Fill it. Shell it. Create a scratch on top. Offset the inner surface, then we use extrude to cut the letters in. Then we can create a scratch, then we can have an emboss to have the image outside. The reason why I don't want to have the image protruding out because sometimes we may accidentally drop the items or maybe you know knock on something and the protruding out if the image protruding area is a bit small it may fall out eventually so to prevent that from happening I think uh, in the boss in is the best okay so that's about all hopefully you guys understand this can follow through have any questions whatsapp me 
we are in a group chat. So everyone can share the questions and know the answer.